So you are trying to unlock all the fragments for Strand so you can get the final warning sidearm or starting to build craft with Strand. Then this video will be your key as I'll go over everything you need to know to unlock all of Strand. Start with how you unlock the subclass along with how you gain meditations. Then I'll give you some ways to farm these said meditations. And stay tuned as I do have a guide for using your new Strand subclass. Starting off. How to unlock the subclass. It's fairly simple. You just have to complete the campaign after completing the Desperate Measures mission, then speaking to Zavala and Ikora, where they're like, Mission failed. We'll get him next time. We'll get next time. You go to the Puka Pond meditation vendor, unlocking your strand subclass. This will also give you some strand meditations to spend on stuff. Strand meditations are used to unlock aspects, fragments, and grenades for strand, which is a refresher from the absolute bore that was grinding stasis during Beyond Light. <laughs> I recommend that you spend your meditations you get from completing the campaign on your aspects. If you complete the campaign legendary, then you get some more meditations when you talk to Nimbus. Burning meditations are what you'll need to unlock more grenades and aspects. Strand meditation can drop from killing enemies with strand. You get one or two when you do this, so this won't be your main method of grinding meditations. You also get meditations by gaining the reputation to complete the powerful award for Nimbus and doing the partition missions. For those not in the know, the partition missions are missions that you can complete once a week earning a pinnacle reward and 250 strand meditations. To do these missions you first need to do a weekly bounty to access the mission. Besides this you can do patrols, public events, eliminating high value targets, and then the chests and lost sectors. Now that we know the ways of gaining meditations, I have some ways to farm them. Before we talk about farming, if this video has been helpful so far then subscribing would be very great as it supports my channel. So does hitting the like and bell. Since you hit subscribe, it is time to explain farming strand meditations. It isn't too difficult as you have a laundry list of things you can do. You can just do what you want and get strand meditations. For example, you can farm lost sectors and if they're in the incursion zone, it grants more meditations. And when you're bored of lost sectors, you can go do patrols and public events to grind more meditations. If you're doing lost sectors, the fastest one is Gilded Preset in Ahimsa Park. If you're looking for more loot, then grind terminal overload keys and open the chest at the end of terminal overload, which also grants strand meditations. There isn't a really a magic bullet method to gaining strand meditations fast, you just have to play the game. No, 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 wait, 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 For some time to get them. It is best to choose one you find the easiest and do that or cycle through each thing you can do. It just depends on what you want to do. What I mean by that is doing lost sectors, then maybe doing some patrols and the public events, then terminal overload. And if you haven't done it this week, you're with the objective from Nimbus and the partition mission. If you want some hard numbers, here are what you get. You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. You gain one meditation for killing an enemy or strand. You get eight meditations for patrols and 20 from heroic patrols. These are the ones that are red and are marked heroic. Lost sectors give around 12. High value targets give 14 and 75 from terminal overload chests that require the key. In summary, go play the game, and you should do all these things while you have strand subclass equipped to attain meditations when you kill enemies. Oh my god! Wow! If you've watched this point, first of all, drop a like, but other than that, uh, I have a summarized guide to use your strand subclass, starting with Titan. To everyone's surprise, when Berserker is released, it's not just a green striker Titan. Starting off, we have its super, which is Blade Fury. On cast, you get two crab claws. When you left click, you perform a slash, severing your targets. It also deals bonus damage to suspended targets, and each hit increases attack speed. When you right click, you send a heavy slash that suspends targets. For our aspects, we have Into the Fray, which when destroying a tangle, you gain woven mail. More on that after I go over each subclass. While you have woven mail, your melee regeneration is increased. Then you have Dranger's Lash, which when activating your class ability, it sends a suspending blast. Your melee, Frenzy Blade, makes you dash forward and severs your target. Hunter's Threadrunner Super is Silk Strike. Left click to swing the rope. The tip of the dart deals bonus damage and explodes targets. Right click causes a spinning attack which can be used to wipe enemies all around you. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> Threaded Spike is a bouncing dart that severs targets. For each melee hit, it returns melee energy for each hit, and you can increase the amount of energy returned by catching it. This is shown by the symbol for your melee changing. The aspects you have are ensnaring slam, which using your air move, and when you land, you suspend your targets. Then you have Widow Silk, which gives you an extra grenade charge, and your grapple creates a grapple tangle at your grapple point. Last but not least, the Warlock Broodweaver. 
The super needle storm fires a hail of deadly needles, which explodes and reweaves into threadlings. Threadlings are creatures woven from strands, which are basically just living bombs. Which, when there are no enemies nearby, they perch on you. Your melee arcane needles, a needle that you can shoot that unravels your enemy, and can fire two additional more. The aspect starting with Weaver's Call summons threadlings when you drop your rift. Mind Spun Invocation enhances your grenades. Grapple summons threadlings when you use your grapple melee. Shackle Grenade gives Weaver's Trance when consumed. When killing enemies with Weaver's Trance activated, it creates a suspending detonation. Threadling Grenade, when consumed, generates five perch threadlings. Now, Strand has three verbs. Sever, Suspend, and Woven Mail. Woven Mail, which we mentioned, first decreases non-persistent damage taken. Sever reduces damage an enemy does, and when the first enemy is dead, it drops a tangle, which can be used as a kind of grenade or grappling point. Suspend suspends your targets in the air, allowing them for free damage and stuns unstoppable champions. And when suspended targets die, they drop a tangle. To go in more detail on tangle, you can throw them, you can shoot them, you can grapple them. And when you create one, you have a 15 second cooldown. You're going to be using strand for crowd control and add clear as it's really good at doing that. You can suspend a whole horde of enemies and they can't really do anything about it. They're stuck there. Supers like Needle Storm is good at clearing ads. And even Needle Storm's a bit good at boss damage, as I've seen a couple times. But besides that, you'll be using this mostly for ad clear. So if you ever need a guy on ad clear, tell me you strand. It's a pretty good ad clear subclass. That is all I have for strand. I went over grinding meditations and ended it with explaining the subclass along with the verbs. If you thought, you thought this video was helpful, then watch these videos on screen. There are also pretty helpful videos.